Today I will show you how to install Windows 11 as a virtual machine. This is with VMware Workstation 17 player, but the settings are very similar if you, for example, are using VirtualBox or any other virtualization tool. I would try to not cut the video as much, instead fast forwarding it so you can see the whole process. And yeah, it's actually quite a lot of reboots, but it can be handy so you're not thinking you are missing anything out when you are doing it yourself. Okay, let's get started. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Okay, so to begin with, let's download the ISO file for Windows 11. You can just Google it up, download Windows 11 ISO file. And it will probably be one of the top results. Here we go to the official Microsoft site. And we don't want any type of media creation tool or assistant. We want the disk image ISO file right here. Press the drop down Windows 11 multi edition, and after that, we can just hit download now. This will take us to the language, and here I will choose English International. You can just choose the language you want. Confirm. And after that, you just hit the blue button that says 64-bit download and the file will begin to download immediately. It's quite a large file, 5.4 gigs, so I will fast forward here a bit. It's now downloaded and let's head back to the VMware Workstation player. And now it's time to create a new virtual machine. So we just click this top link. I usually go with the bottom version here, don't want any wizards or easy installment guides. It usually just makes things messy. Put the name in, choose Windows, and then where you want to store your virtual machine. Hit next and it will take you to your TPM. The hardware encryption will be sorted out with the VMware player. And you don't need to encrypt more than uh, that's mandatory. So just go with the button check option and put in a password twice. Then hit next. And here we can set if you want any other size for your hard drive. And I just want one single file. I don't want any multiple files, so I'll choose this option. And next. And this is a summary, but you can also customize the hardware a bit more. Here you can put some more RAM if you want any heavy duty workforce for it or here even more CPUs. This is where we put in the ISO file that we downloaded. So we browse it and point to that Windows 11 ISO file. And for the network adapters I recommend going with the bridge or a NAT for your network depending if you want a completely separate IP. For your virtual machine, you can go with the bridge. And if you want more of the host machine to act as a rotor, you will go with a NAT. And here I don't need any sound card or accelerated 3D graphics. It's usually just much more conflicts, so I untick that one. And then finish. So now it's actually time to hit play on the new virtual machine we just did. And we'll be ready to hit the any key when booting it up to boot from the image. So we are now booting into the Windows installer from the ISO. And here we will be greeted by a nice blue screen and a language setting to select. And as we downloaded the English version, but we can still set the time and currency format. And hence the channel I am actually from 
Sweden. So for these regional settings, I will choose Sweden and Swedish. Also for the keyboard. And we will go with the plain copy of installment of Windows 11. And then we gonna do the product key, but we are not. So you just press the bottom left. And here we can actually choose the version of Windows we want to install. It will not be activated, but later on you can buy a CD key online or activate it in the Microsoft Store. So in this case, I will go with Windows 11 Pro because then I can put the machine in a domain and do other fun stuff with it. Here we can see the hard drive that we created in the VMware player. You don't need to create any partitions or do anything with it. You just highlight the space and click next. And now it says ready to install. So here everything looks great and we press install. It will now reboot and start install. So I will speed this up 10 times speed. But here we can see it's about 50% complete. And I will just let this run until the VMware has rebooted the OS. And now it's installing again. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And now it's time to customize the OS. And here we can see I will put the keyboard layout to Swedish. Let's scroll down a bit. There it is. Put yes. I don't want to add a second keyboard layout, so I will press skip. And then it's going to check for updates. And now it says it will restart again. So let the PC restart. But as a virtual machine, at least it goes quite fast to restart it. It's booting up once more. Here we get our welcome. And now we can name the device. I will put, I think, TSS VM or something like that. Windows 11 TSS. Yeah, why not? Hit next. Then it will ask you to wait just a moment again. A bit of patience is needed here, but I think we are on the home stretch right now for reboots at least. Okay, so now it asks us what do you want to, how do you want to set up this device? In this case, I will go with a personal use, but if you go with work or school, you can actually hook it up to a, a domain. Here we go, Windows updates. Do you have any updates for us? And now it actually wants us to sign in with a Microsoft account. So if you don't have that, make a Microsoft account. And later on you can actually use a local account for the machine. But for now, it's uh, the easiest to just ma make an account. So I will put in my account here and press next. And I will sign in with my password. And no, I don't want any synchronization with my Microsoft account apps or previous PCs. So I press no, don't sync. Pin code is actually quite handy. So you can sign in to the computer just 
for numbers for example so I will do that right here press OK and here they actually want to just harvest your data so no on everything or only the required one so no 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 so it says it's getting things ready for us hopefully we are soon able to log in to the desktop customize experience no i don't wanna, want any gaming or school experience just uh, default please and here you can sync your phone and I think it's actually both Android and maybe I, even iPhone nowadays but no nah, that's not for me I will hit skip here and here you can import browser history cookies and stuff not now oh I'm lucky that I have a deal for Microsoft 365 family and uh, nope we're not gonna do that so decline and decline again for the cloud storage deal yes i actually know that you can have some outlook and word for free and here we have to press next and now it's finishing the setup and we should very very soon be able to log into the system and yeah here it is it just popped right up you don't even have to log in this is the welcome screen when you have done everything so here we have it a full installation of windows 11 as a virtual machine if this helped you out in any way please leave a like and take care guys bye